Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. You're listening to the man who has received so much recognition for his work on behalf of small business that he had to get a bigger mantle for his awards and a wider door for his head. You have reached the transmitting signal for the big giant head. All big giant circuits are busy right now. Please stay on the line. Mr. Humble, Jim Blassingay. Welcome back, 34 after the hour. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Always a pleasure to continue to be with you, Mr. Humble, at your service. Very excited about having our good friend Doug Tatum back on the show, ladies and gentlemen. Doug is uh, the right travel chair in entrepreneurship at Middle Tennessee State University, MTSU, uh, former uh, president and uh, former chairman and CEO, I should say, of Tatum LLC. He is also very involved in a number of of, uh, of uh, uh, investor organizations, private equity organizations, and he's got his, his ear to the ground and his finger on the pulse of of a lot of things out there that are happening in the economy, and I wanted to, to talk to him and ask him some questions. He's our good friend, Doug Tatum. Welcome back to the show. Hey, Jim. Welcome to be here. It's good to have you back, Doug. Hey, uh, Doug, I'm, I'm trying to, to do a little, a little visioning for, for what capitaliz- capitalization is going to look like for small businesses in the future. I'm talking 5, 10, 20, maybe even 30 years from now. And right. and I believe it's going to look a lot different. And as, as my audience knows, I'm a real strong champion. I'm a big supporter of independent community banks. I believe that they're really important. But I also believe that the landscape is not looking good for their proliferation. They're not going to go away, but we're going to lose a bunch more of them, I think, than we already have. I think in 10 years we could have a lot fewer small banks than we have had. And I don't think that's good for small business. So where is small business going to get their capital if, if, if there aren't going to be as many independent banks as there are now in the future? Where is that capital going to come from? Is it going to come from crowdfunding, from factoring? What do you think? Well, Jim, I, first of all, I want, to, I want to acknowledge your point about community banks. I'm, I've been a big fan of, of that capital source for small business. Uh, you know, I testified before Congress a number of times about the capital gap. Right. And um, no man's land. No man's land. The capital gap, which is, is when they uh, when your listeners have a company where the business needs more capital than they can personally afford to repay. You know, they face a capital gap. And, mm-hmm. and you know, this banking crisis and the size of the banks, I'm convinced that most of them, not all of them, are, are out of the business of, of lending capital to into the capital gap. Uh, and the community banks, I do think, are in, are in jeopardy. Uh, the regulatory costs, I've talked to a number of right. them. Right. Uh, the, their margins are really model. getting squeezed right now. Yeah, they are. And, and see, this is a this is a time when the Fed has created accommodating policies to make it easy for banks to make money to heal the banking system. And if, if the community banks are having some difficulty at this level when, when we get back to normal, we've got a problem. So, right. you, you know, you, you've got a very interesting question. So what's the future of, of, of the capitalization? Well, the, the couple of things that I also worry about, uh, if you if you get, get down to it, in fact, we have, uh, as you know, I'm chairman of a research institute right. funded by NASDAQ Foundation, Edward Lowe Foundation. And we, we have a number of academics studying our data, which covers every – Tracks every business in the United States for 20 years, and one one of our scholars is looking at the nexus between credit card and uh, small business. And uh, I'm completely convinced, based on anecdotal evidence, that one of the key capital sources for growth capital in this country were, were uh, uh, second mortgages on homes and credit cards. And you're you're talking that, to, but, you're talking to somebody who did that. No, no kidding. And yeah. so you've got, you've had a constriction of those issues that that could be uh, a problem. But this is why. On, this is why four years ago, when everybody started saying that, well, when the economy goes again, just wait till the startups hit, and uh, and the economy will turn around. And at that same moment, I predicted that 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 would not happen because startups wouldn't have access to the capital 
uh, sources that, that I had, for example, 20-something years Absolutely. ago. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, that's a double whammy. So uh, I, um, I've talked to a number of folks uh, that are involved in uh, uh, the job acts. Uh, I said uh, Congressman Weicker. Mm -hmm. uh, we invited to come in and talk with us uh, uh, about that when I was up at the, on a panel at the uh, U.S. Chamber regarding capital markets effectiveness. As, right. as you all know, I'm very involved with private equity. Right. Uh, by Chairman of ACG. So let me lay out a couple scenarios. One one trend I'm seeing out hold on, here. Hold on to that thought, Doug. We've we've sort okay. of laid the we sort of laid the table for you, folks. the The issue is is the cap access to capital, capital formation for small businesses in the future is going to be different. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I promise you, there's no doubt in my mind it's going to be different. The next twenty years that has been the last twenty years, and as much as I love independent community banks. I love small businesses more, and those are the ones that I want to help and figure this out. Doug's going to help us with this after these messages. 20 till. I'm Jim Blassingame. Stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.